Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to do a review on my go bag. Here's a quick pan of the internal items. And here's the pack I chose. I chose the USGI Pilots go bag. And as well, I strapped Spec Ops pouches on the outside. I love pouches, man. Can't have enough pouches. Anyway, so here's the bag itself. These straps in condition with these straps, they designed to strap to inside of the ceilings, roofs of the helicopters and the back of the seats. You can also untape these. I have them taped and you can wrap them around your legs for a jumpable pack. This thing is, I think it's a thousand Cordura and it's crazy stitch, box stitches, bar tacks. It's will last you a lifetime. Uh, this small pouch, I carry my rat's tourniquet. Back here is where they keep their straps, but there's moly inside there, so I keep a backup flashlight by Larry. LED, double A's, or I'm sorry, those are triple A's. Flip the pack around. So, all right, there we go. So it has one zipper. I'm not a fan of multiple zippers. So this is one zipper, clamshell, has an internal water bladder pouch, and it has six quick releases, three on each side, to cinch the bag up. And it has two pass-throughs for hoses for a water bladder or a radio antenna. Let's go back to the back. We'll do another video on this, but this is my main first aid kit on the outside of my pack. This pouch, I carry parts of my shelter. This pack right here, this pouch, sorry, right here is for my tool pouch that I will go over. And this pouch is for my water purification. I carry one figure nine and a climbing rated carabiner. Let's get to the internals. This is a tool roll that I carry my main supplies in. I carry a green glow stick. My knife of choice in this bag is the Gerber, sorry, this is the K-Bar Necker BK11. Awesome knife. Gerber folding saw. If I extra pair of shoelaces, pair of socks, spare pair of glasses. These are cables and a spare battery for my Sunto watch. The cables are for my iPhone, my main source of communication, and a spare 2200 milliamp, or 2200, yes, milliamp battery for spare charge for my phone. I carry a bandana that's reflective. Here's a charger. They'll charge double A's and triple A's and a plug tester to verify if there's power if I'm in an urban situation. Also carry a monocular, it's a 10 power. That way I, if I need to do overwatch, I can see where I'm going, what's ahead of me. Another source of communication is a Puxing PX88K. It's a dual band radio. It also has uh, AM FM as well. This is an emergency bivy sack. Mylar. This is a heat sheets double person. Mylar tarp. Actual blanket. A couple rolls of 550 cord. And two tarp clips. And my signal mirror, which I've done in another video. It's a daytime and nighttime signal mirror. So this tool roll, when it's all put together, which I'll do later, rolls up into my pack and it's stored in this dry bag. Next, we're gonna to go to my water for purification. I carry the silky tool. This will open up any urban hose bib 
without the handle on it. Everyone has seen the Sawyers. It's a great filter. In my food pouch, which will pan back here. And again, I keep it on the outside of my pack so I'm not digging for stuff. It goes in this pouch right here. I put this, this tool, and three food bars from Cliff. That's all I carry for food and water. This again goes in a mesh bag, which is the mesh bag I use to dry out my filter after I use it. Now we're gonna pan to the tool kit. I carry a dry bag, which goes in the lid of that pouch. In my tool kit, I have a Sharpie, another green glow stick, pocket sharpener, which that broke the other day, by the way. But anyways, either way it works. It works even better. For serrated or scissors to sharpen, resharpen them or touch them up. This is a Bushnell AAA flashlight. Cricut eating tool. I forgot the model of this stove, but this is uh, my little cooking stove when I need to boil water. And by the way, my uh, canteen cup is not in this pouch right now. I was out cleaning it. And then also I carry the pocket, which I'll do a full review on this guy. Okay. So if you can see this, it's the pocket survival tactical by Servco. Basically what this is, as you can tell, it's a pocket axe slash tomahawk. So you got your line cutter or gutter, scraper and axe head, saw teeth and various size nuts. Just kidding. Sock to remove sock nuts, bolts. And then this arrowhead comes off and it's all 440 stainless steel, I do believe. And you can make a spear, boat, an arrow, be a large arrow, but you can make a spear using this for fishing and harvesting game or processing game. So that is kept in my toolkit. And this zippered pouch. The pouch itself is the Max Position Fatty. As well, on the front part, I carry a pen of sanitizer for washing your hands. And in here, by the way, is my spare set of keys to my second location if I have to leave my first location. Anyways, we'll touch base on that in another time. This right here is the Leatherman Sidekick. And as well, there's a piece of foil in here that goes with the stove as a wind blocker, or if it's wet, so I can cook on dry. Spare batteries, triple A's. And this is a cover for my flashlight. Basically this goes on the end if you need a small light source for your firearm or what such, this is a great tool for that. Which, of course, I will do a separate video on. All right, let's move right along. This is my data collecting pouch. Basically, it's a lanyard that goes around your neck. Let's see if I can get it open here. This one's by Tegazone. It comes with a their waterproof paper, all-weather notebook, and defense pen, which I have the ink out of it for right now. So that if I need to take notes, keep track of 
my paces, stuff like that. I do have pace speed somewhere on her. And for people have talked about protection in their videos, as well as you would use your first aid kit for your self protection. And for harm's way, I carry a slingshot. I do not carry a firearm in this pack. I can use this for hunting. It's quiet and defensive purposes. If you ever get a rock with one of these, when you were a kid, you should know it hurts. And if you're good, like I am, it'll do the job. It's a 55 gallon drum liner for various reasons. Everyone knows you lay it on the ground as a first layer to get you off the cold, stuff it with leaves, make your bedding. And I have a couple base layers. There's my top and bottom. They're Heli Hansen. That's part of my shelter system. I carry a headlamp. The black diamond LED. It uses three AAA batteries on the back. Very light, very bright headlamp. A pair of gloves. They have a sticky surface. And they say sticky when wet. This is my survival kit. I'm gonna have to do a separate video on this. This is the Bear Grylls survival kit, but you'll see when I do the separate video. I carry one of these in every one of my packs and I add my own fill to it, plus his. And this little item is my, so if I can do this, is my, anyways, this is my beanie, my boonie hat that's rolled up, it's waterproof. So this is a neck gaiter. It's part of my shelter system. Baklava, or balakava. Pair of my PPE, which is my pair of rubber uh, latex gloves, non-latex. Pair of hearing protectors. Mosquito head net. N95 mask. And this unfolds. And again, this is my waterproof beanie, boonie hat. It's all weather. That zips up. I can put my mask and stuff back inside while I wear it. Most of my the items that I pulled out will fit in here, and it still fits on your head. And this, this, and my headlamp go into this pouch right here. On the outside, that's my shelter. So again, this is the fill of the internal of my go bag. Sorry, my hands are shaking. I haven't had breakfast yet. And again, this is a great pack. I can't talk about it enough. Um, there's a lot of pack options out there. I have a lot of packs. Most people like 511 or various other companies. I choose military. So basically, again, this is the USGI Pilots Go Bag. Thank you. You guys, and see you next time.